Hello. In this session, we will try to understand the algebraic expression a plus b whole squared using geometry and that too paper folding. But let us first look at the algebraic part of it. Okay, so let us look at this algebraic expression a plus b whole squared. So what does that mean? It means that a plus b is multiplied by a plus b. Now a when a is multiplied by a we get a squared. When a is multiplied by b we get a b. Now when b is multiplied by a we get a b and we multiply b into b we get b squared. Let us write this in order a squared plus b squared plus ab plus ab. Here we have two ab's so instead of writing ab ab we can even write it as a squared plus b squared plus two of these so two ab. So this is the algebraic expression. Now let's try to visualize this on a piece of paper by folding a piece of paper okay. So we'll take a piece of paper and first of all we need to make a square because when we are talking about squared in geometry we talk about the area right. So let us make a square. So we'll cut off this extra piece. If you crease this properly with your nail, you can easily tear it away. We don't need a pair of scissors for this. You can just tear it out. So there we are. We have a square, right? We know that all the sides of the square are equal. We do not know the measurement of the sides. So let us say that the side is S. In that case, the area of the square will be S into S, which is S squared. Suppose the side is 10 centimeters, then the area would be 100 square centimeters. Now, now we are trying to understand a plus b whole squared. So let us imagine that this, this side is a plus b and this side is a plus b. So I will divide this side into a plus b and this side into a plus b. So for that what I will do is I will fold this paper over here like this. Now, this side from here to here it is A and from here to here it is B. If you are not able to see this line, I will draw it for you with a pencil. So similarly, we will have to divide even this side into A and B. Okay. So for that what we will have to do is, we will fold this like this and we'll turn this paper over like this and we will fold this side and when we do that we will make sure that the diagonals are perfect right so we have now divided even this side into a and b so i'll write it down so this is a and this is B. If you are not able to see this line, what I will do is, I will use the scale and draw it for you. Okay. 
done so now we've divided this side into a and b so we've dis divided this side into a and b so similarly we've divided this side also into a and b i'll write it down for you a and b and even this side is divided in, into a and b so i'll write it down over here a and b now let us look at the area of this square okay this this area which is a into a is a squared now let us look at this square this is b and this is b so the area of this small square will be b squared and we have rectangles one rectangle over here and another rectangle over here so the area of this rectangle will be a into b so which is a b and here also the area of this rectangle is a into b which is a b right so now we will go back to our a plus b whole squared algebraic expression and compare it with our geometry so a plus b whole squared a is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab so a plus b whole squared a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus two of these a b and a b so 2 a b so that is the explanation for a plus b whole squared